Hi everybody, Nem here. And tonight I have what I hope is going to be a treat. Hot off of the slow boat from China. It's the Realac X210. I got the 4mm version. This is also known as the Banggood Clone QAVX uh, from Sharpu FPV. Uh, I hear that uh, Get FPV was a little bit upset about this because uh, they still didn't have it uh, in their hot little hands before Banggood had a clone of it up. So without further ado, uh, let's see what's in it. Black baggies. I love black baggies. They always seem so ominous. Looks like it's been beat up a little bit. Maybe somebody big like me sat on it. Well, they're proud of it. They put their name on the box. Five inch prop arm, 210 millimeter, four millimeter thick. Woohoo! <laughs> Who would have thought so much joy could come in such a tiny little box? comes with a nice rubberized uh, battery strap obviously custom size to fit the frame so you don't have to go hunting around for it, it does look pretty short let's see just how long that is hmm. 215 millimeters including the loop Without the loop, uh, 200 even. Right. Yeah, look at that. They even knurled the. They even knurled the uh, standoffs, so that they look sort of like the Sharpu X. Wow, man, that's definitely. Uh, <laughs> Talk about cloning. Anyways, well, let's get down to the nitty and the gritty. Here's the frame itself. Main plate. Edges are a little rough. But man, there are a whole mazillion little thin layers. I don't know if you'll be able to see this. I'll try to get it so that it, the light's on it. Yeah. Very impressive. Good quality. Oh yeah, that is so rigid. And you see a little slub right there. Let's see if I can make that visible. Yeah, there it is right there in the edge. So not perfect. You're probably going to want to touch this up a little with sandpaper like you will with any of the cheapy clones. Well, let's, uh, let's get the old calipers out and see what they say about the material. Look at that. 0.99, okay. Let's see here, I just had a bad angle on it when I was measuring it over here. Yeah, I just had a bad angle on it. Four millimeters right on the nose. Yeah, looks like this side is a hair thicker. For real, 4.08. But still. Very good. None of this, uh, you know, half a millimeter thinner on one pair on two arms like the uh, ZMR 250 that I love. Let's 
scope out our plates. And then again, good quality twill. No evidence of uh, filler. Very rigid. One point five five one point five four millimeters on the upper plate. One point five two. The body plate is a nice solid two point oh millimeters. Two point one, two point oh nine. 2.03 so there is some variation in thickness on the individual on the actual plates themselves but fortunately nothing really super thin 1.5 1 1.5 1.5 1.5 so main body of this is a good solid four millimeters uh, the body plate that everything attaches to is good solid two millimeters and everything else is 1.5 millimeters. Let's get some weights. Alrighty. Main plate for the six for the four millimeter sixty three point seven seven millimeters upper body plate six point four five all the other bits that uh, oh look at this they even cloned the Sharpu uh, X's uh, battery armor this is actually meant on the Sharpu X. This goes through here. And this protects the battery. Look at that. Clever, clever. They even cloned that. <sighs> probably, I've probably got it on there the wrong way. It's probably supposed to go like this. Yeah, that makes sense. Just like that, I would think. Anyways. So let's get a total weight of all the carbon. Hey, you come back here. Total weight of all the carbon. 80.92 grams. So 81 grams for all the carbon. And this comes with a custom made, well, I don't know if it's custom made, but it's a Matek PDB. This one has the, this one has the uh, XT60 coming out the side, right in the middle, the way you know, you all know I like to do. You remember this from my Black Dragon. My own little custom PCB. Well, now everybody's doing it, of course. Darren Yoon, I blame you for that. Somehow. Because sure ain't nobody watching me do it. Let's see here. It's a nice little PDB. It appears to have a... Eh, where's my... Got to get the old big old eyeballs out here so I can actually see. It has a 7812 for the camera. And uh, looks to be a switch mode power supply for the uh, 5 volts, which uh, the 12 volt is rated at 500 milliamps. BEC for the 5 volts is rated at 2 at two amps. So yeah, that's probably a switch mode power supply for the 5 amps to have plenty of current for all your goodies. And uh, 2 ounce copper, 4 layer board. So um, your EC, your your ESC outputs are rated 4 by 25. That's quite respectable, actually. 
especially for a gimme with uh, with a frame kit. Let's see how much that bad boy how much that bad boy weighs. Well, ten point oh nine grams. So ten grams for the PDB. That's not really too bad considering how much hassle it saves you. <sighs> and yes, for those of you who want to know, these uh, standoffs are all aluminum. It's knurled. They're knurled like the Sharp UX to have that look, uh, to have that grip on the camera strap. Uh, it does come with mounting hardware for the PDB. Has a nice little kit of uh, plastic standoffs. And it comes with, of course, the basic hardware to assemble the frame itself. So, let's see here what our all up weight is going to be. Actual measured weight. Tear out that. Then start adding stuff. So the frame itself with all the hardware, 91 grams, 90.82 grams. Add the battery strap and the uh, battery armor plate, brings it up to 100.1. Then add the Maytech PDB, brings it up to 110.2 grams. Alrighty guys, there you have it. It certainly isn't uh, uh, Luminaire quality, but uh, man, it is mighty fine quality for what you pay for it. And uh, people can laugh at me when they see it. I'm going to be laughing all the way to the bank with mine. I'll tell you that. Here you go, everybody. Nem out.